Harvest Food Bank of Northwest North Carolina. Today we're going to be making a Northwest apple salad, which is a great, simple um, snack solution or easy breakfast, and it takes a boring old apple and turns it into an exciting snack. This recipe comes from our partners at Cooking Matters, and this recipe I love because it uses three food groups off of my plate. So my plate reminds us to make a balanced plate and there are five food groups on my plate. We have our fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. This recipe uses fruits, protein, and dairy. So as I said, this is a really simple recipe. The first thing we wanna do is wash our hands. We always wanna wash our hands before we get started in the kitchen. So I've washed mine with warm soapy water and we're ready to go. The second thing you wanna do is wash your produce. So for this recipe, we're using two apples and you can use any kind of apples you want with this recipe. Cooking Matters recommends the Granny Smith, which is a green apple, because it's nice and tart and tangy. Um, for this, I'm using um, a red apple that is similarly tart and tangy, um, but not, not so tart. Um, so I've got one apple already cut up here, and for this recipe, you also, you've got lots of options. You can choose what type of apple you want. You can also choose how you want to cut it up. So I went ahead and just made little wedges, um, but you could just slice the apple. So we're going to cut our second apple up, and take the core out. All right, so I've got my apple cut up now, and I also decided to leave the peel on the apple, and that just adds a little bit of extra fiber to this recipe. So we're gonna put our cut up apple in a big bowl. And next, I've got about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of dried cranberries. Again here, it's totally up to your preference. You could use any sort of dried fruit that you like. Dried raisins, you could cut up dried apricot, dried cranberries, whatever your preference is. And you're just gonna add those straight into the bowl. And then I've just got a plain low fat yogurt and we're gonna add that in as well. We're gonna use about three tablespoons here. Nice and mixed up. And so the yogurt is really just kind of coating the apples. So it's not like the yogurt parfait where you have a ton of yogurt on bottom and then your fruit and nuts or whatever on top. This is almost, the yogurt's almost like a dressing for your apples. Okay, so you can see apples and cranberries are all mixed up together. Now, additionally, I'm gonna use some walnuts. If you're allergic to nuts, you can totally just leave nuts out of this recipe. If you don't like walnuts, you could use any type of nut or even seeds would work as well. And I went ahead and just toasted these a little bit, um, just for about two to three minutes to give them a little bit of color and to bring the flavor out more. So we're just gonna use a sprinkle of walnuts. Add a nice little crunch, a little bit of protein, and then lastly, totally optional, you can add a little drizzle of honey. And that'll just give a little extra sweetness. And then mix it all together. Mm, the honey smells good. So now everything's mixed, everything's coated in a little bit of yogurt. The honey's mixed in. There you have it, that's your Northwest apple salad. All right, so there you have it. Super simple Northwest apple salad. And again, this could be a wonderful breakfast because you've got some fruit, a little bit of yogurt, protein from the walnuts. It also makes a great snack. Um, really quick and easy to throw together. So another wonderful recipe from Cooking Matters. Let's give it a try.
That's good. 